This trip and what it offers to people is uh, nothing short of amazing. The opportunity to actually to do some adventure, a little bit of uh, light trekking, uh, river rafting, biking, and so on, and to integrate that with, you know, with the opportunities to uh, observe things in a cultural fashion are pretty unusual. We're here not just to raft the rivers and for the adrenaline, but to, to get off the beaten path to see things you wouldn't normally see. We see the Zongs, we see the monasteries, we see the beautiful places, we meet the people. And unlike other trips that come to Bhutan, they're just traveling around to different places. We're breaking it up with some activity. And that activity gets us off the beaten path to where we can see really cool stuff that normal people won't see. We're in the biggest mountains in the world. They're steep, they're jagged, they're rugged. The forest is amazing. It's a different country, it's a different feel here. It's more reverent, it's just, unbelievable. Bhutan is a beautiful and unique place. It has qualities you know, of sheer beauty and friendliness that is that I, in my travels in the world there are utterly unique. And I think that anybody who comes to Bhutan recognizes that the Bhutanese are quite possibly the happiest people on earth. You're always going to have fun in Bhutan, it, no matter what. You could come and no matter what's going to happen, it's a, every day here is a gift. It's always special. Every day has exceeded expectations. I had high expectations. Every day it's been something completely unexpected. If I don't know how, <laughs> are we going to be able to maintain this kind of momentum? <laughs> because it's, it's pretty unbelievable. I would recommend this kind of trip to anybody, especially people that want to see a culture that is alive. It's a fabulous opportunity for anybody. I don't know where else in the world things are so completely holistic. So it really is kind of a manifestation of Shangri-La. It's really what it is. before we started rafting in Bhutan, the only type of trips that people did in Bhutan was a little bit of trekking and most of it was just religious or cultural tours and people went from place to place, valley to valley, you know, sitting in buses with nothing much else to do. So the whole idea of trying to add a little bit of adventure, to add a little bit more diversity to the type of trips was the addition of activities like rafting and mountain biking. The rafting is surreal for me. The idea that I'm in a place where very few people have been is um, amazing to me and very moving. Choosing a favorite moment on a trip like this is nearly impossible, but if there's one standout, it'd be the cultural aspect of this trip. The different monasteries, the Zongs, are just something that you can't see anywhere else in the world. Oh, 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 oh.